Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my reading journey. I hope we're all doing absolutely fine. And today we're going to continue as usual with the discourses of Epictetus. And I'm going to read to you a chapter 10 to those who have spent their energies on advancement in Rome. Let's get started. If we had been as earnest and serious about our work as old men in Rome are about their concerns, we too might perhaps have achieved something. I know what was said to me by a man older than myself who is now in charge of the corn supply in Rome. When he passed through here on his way back from exile, he ran down his former, li former life and made great professions for his future, saying that when once he was back, he would have no other interest except to live out the rest of his life in peace and tranquility. For how little I have still left me, said he. And I said to him, you will not do this. You will not do it. So soon as you sniff the air of Rome, you will forget all your professions. And I told him, and I told him that if he got a chance of entering the palace, he would thrust his way in and give God thanks. Epictetus, he answered, if you find me putting one foot in the palace, believe what you like of me. Well, what did he do? Before he came to Rome, a dispatch from the emperor met him, and as soon as he got it, he, got it, he forgot all he had said and has gone on adding his heap ever since. I should like to stand by him now and remind him of the words he used as he passed through and say to him, how much more clever a prophet am I than you? What conclusion do I draw? Do I say that the creature man is not to be active? Heaven forbid. But what is it that fetters our faculty of action? Take myself first. When day comes, I remind myself a little as to what lesson I ought to read to my pupils. Then, in a moment, I find myself say, saying, but what do I really care what sort of lesson I give to this man or that? The first thing for me, the first thing is for me to sleep, and yet how can their business be, be compared in importance with ours if you attend to what they what they are doing you will see the difference they do nothing all day all day long except vote dispute deliberate about ha hand, a handful of corn or an acre of land and petty profits of this sort is there any resemblance between receiving and reading a petition such as this i beg you to let me export a little corn and a petition such as i beg you to inquire from Chrysippus, how the universe is governed and what position the rational creature hold, holds in it. Inquire to who you are and what is good for you and what is evil. What have these petitions in common? Do above demand the same attention? Is it equally shameful to neglect one and to neglect the other? What is my con conclusion? We are elders, alone, indolent, and sleepy. Nay, the fault is much rather with you, young man, for indeed we all folk. When we see young men playing, we are only too eager and ready to join their play. Much more, if I saw them thoroughly awakened and eager to share my studies, should I be eager myself? to take my study seriously too. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, we're gonna continue tomorrow with the next chapter. Thank you for joining today in this video. We're gonna see you tomorrow in the next one. Thank you, see you, and bye.